I didn't see my not having arms as being a limitation. Jessica Cox was born without arms due to a rare non-genetic birth defect, but this hasn't held her back from driving a car, gaining a black belt in Taekwondo, playing the piano, scuba diving, and becoming the world's first licensed armless pilot. Naturally, people saw the fact that I didn't have arms as a limiting factor, but I was there to prove them wrong. Now she travels the world as a motivational speaker with her husband, Patrick. If I had to describe Jessica in three words, it would be kind, positive, and unstoppable. Even as a child, having no arms proved no obstacle to Jessica. As a young little girl, I was in just about everything. At three, my mom had me in gymnastics. At six, I started tap dance lessons. Ten, I started Taekwondo. I did modeling. I swam at, starting at the age of five. I did every activity you can imagine. She tried wearing prosthetic arms from the ages of three to 14, but hasn't used them since. Uh, there's nothing that can substitute the tactile ability of flesh and bone, and my feet have the tactile ability to feel whether something was hot or smooth or rough, and it was just a lot easier to be able to make those connections with the feeling my feet provided. Despite her adventurous spirit, she had always been afraid of flying until she had a life-changing experience. One day, a fighter pilot came up to me and he asked if I wanted to fly in a single-engine airplane. That idea wasn't something that I was too enthusiastic about, but he encouraged me, my dad encouraged me, and I gathered up my courage. I was sitting right beside the pilot and he asked if I wanted to experience putting my foot up on the yoke. And when I did, and I had a feel for what it was like to handle that airplane, I knew I wanted to become a pilot. However, there were a number of challenges to overcome. Who would teach me? What type of airplane? Was this realistic? Would this be safe? Of course, the safe and realistic part I didn't even consider because I knew if I wanted to become a pilot, I was going to do everything I could. I had to find an airplane that had less controls than the average. So the Air Coupe airplane, which is a 1945, has two less rudder pedals on the floor. And that way I could have my right foot on the yoke my left foot on the throttle, and crisscross fly the airplane safely. The airplane was not customized in any way for me. In 2008, her determination paid off when she became the first licensed armless pilot in the world. Three years, three different airplanes, three different flight instructors, 80 hours of flying in three different states. I was a certified pilot. It was a long ordeal. Five years ago, the 32-year-old met husband Patrick Chamberlain through their mutual love of Taekwondo. I remember looking across the room and seeing him with this confused look on his face. He later told me it's because he thought I had arms and they were in my sweater. Patrick and I work as a team, but he loves to cook, but I do the dishes. We balance each other out in different ways. Thank you. Good morning. Together, they promote Jessica's motivational speaking, which she hopes will inspire others to overcome obstacles as she has. And if there's something you want to do, don't let anything stop you. With that, we must be persistent. Think about the last time you said, I can't. Patrick and I work together to be able to motivate people. He has a very crucial part of my presentation. I get to be the one in the spotlight and in front of everyone, but it would not happen if Patrick wasn't back there eliminating the challenges as a media tech and all-around manager. We have some very interesting adventures on our travels. It's a constant adventure and it's a lot of fun. And while children may be in their future, for now they plan to continue inspiring others.
If we did have a child without arms, we wouldn't hesitate because I've been able to live my life just fine without arms. As far as we know, it's not a genetic condition. We have many years to spend together and start a family. We've been talking about continuing to travel the world and bring the motivational speaking to other countries and help change some attitudes about disability.